it seems that I cannot get enough of Olama. Olama is probably one of my favorite tool out there because it is so easy to download and run these large language models locally with the help of Olama. You can run this Olama on Linux, on Windows, on Mac and wherever you like in a very very easy way. I have done heaps of videos on Olama in detail so if you are interested please just search the channel. You can even run it with a client app on your phone or on your tablet or wherever you can install that app. So in this video I am going to show you yet another way of running Olama models. This time we will be using something called as follow Mac as you can see here. This is an app which is hosted on Flathub and Flathub is powered by Flatpak. So first we will be installing this Flatpak. This is a way of running Linux application easily anywhere wherever you have that GUI. If you have been working with Linux you might be aware that every Linux flavor has its own GUI and even in those GUIs there are different type of GUIs. And then there are some applications which are compatible with one type of GUIs. Then there are some applications which are compatible with another. So it makes it a bit harder. And Flatpak is one of the way to sort of uh, an effort to try to standardize that. So first we will be setting it, setting up this Flatpak. And then by using this we will be going to this Flat Hub and download this application called as Follow Mac which lets you access your Olama through GUI. So that is what we are going to do. Before I show you that, let me give a huge shout out to our friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM plus a GPU. So really heads off to them. Let me quickly show you what that looks like. So this is a VM where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and the GPU card which Mass Compute has given is this NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU, I would highly recommend them. I will drop the link to their website plus a discount coupon which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted GPUs. Highly recommend it. Check them out. Let's now first set up our flat pack. And by the way, I already have Olama installed. If you don't know how to install it, as I already have done videos on it. But just to give you a quick overview, let's say Linux. So go to Olama's website, click on download and then select Linux. And all you need to do is to run this command. Just copy it from here, run it locally in your terminal and that will install Olama. If I show you my terminal, this is a terminal. Let me clear the screen just to olama list and you will see that i have, have already olama running and these are the models which are already present there code stall llama 3 moon dream and mistral if you want to download any other model just to olama pull and do models name if you so that is pull so you just need to run it then okay then so this is our olama already set up let's first set up our flat pack in order to set up just click on this get setup from here it will take you here says which is your distro so as you see that we already are using ubuntu 22.04 so we need to select that and this is ubuntu's icon let's click on this icon and then it is asking us to run this command so first up we need to um, run this I'm just going to copy from here and then I'm going to open the terminal and I'll just do it alongside with you. So let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long. Just press Y here and that is almost done. That is done. Next up, let's grab this. But you don't even have to do it because this is for the older version so this is showing you ubuntu 18.10 and we have ubuntu 22.04 so we are good so let's also install flatpaks plugin because it really makes it easier to run it through the gui instead of going again and again towards the cli so i have grabbed it go back to the terminal and then paste here just press y here 
and that is going to install it quickly that is also done and now let's the last step is to just add the flat hub repository so let me do it just going to paste that command and now it says that the session has restarted which is fine it is asking me for my password so let me put in my password here and that is also done now let me restart my system and then i will be back so i have restarted my system let's check the version of flatpak so you see we have the latest version okay now let's try to get that application installed through which we will be able to check the olama so quickly let's check the olama yep olama is still there awesome so this is a follow map which i'm going to install so click on install in this downward arrow first we need to run this command in order to get this thing installed let's go back to the terminal and then run this from here just press y here and then again we need to install this and we need to provide the password and then click on authenticate okay again so it is getting installed as you can see it don't take too long and it is also taking these boxes as it, as it is proceeding so there are nine of these options to install okay so it means i have to give password for all of them so let me do that quickly and now it is installing the last one it don't take too long now installation is eventually done let's go back and click on this run open the terminal again and then paste it here there you go so you see we have our olama open here on the right hand side it is accessing our local host these are the models which we also saw from our terminal and llama 3 moon dream install these are already installed and then these are this is a temperature which is a determine the randomness of the response and then you can either chat with it or just do the generation this is a user you can even pull more model for example if i just press y here and say y and then click on pull it is going to pull the new model from olama so this is a cool thing i really like about it it's just downloading the new model from olama if you don't have it already so it is pulling all the layers it is going to do the checksum and then it is we can chat with it let's wait for it to finish you see that model is loaded now and now it is validating the checksum it's a fairly small model that's all good so do we have to restart it nope so phi is already here so you can talk with it and then there you go it is also telling you the size really like it and then let's talk with code stall first and you can just talk with it that how is it going then click here it is going to give you the response and see we can even uh, because this supports images to olama and i think moon dream is one of them i think it's a vision model through which you can talk with images you can upload your own image and talk with it we will also try it out hmm, so you see it has come back at last that is good it's also telling us how long did it take take a fair bit of time anyway let's try to see if we can this is a moon dream and then they didn't show us what exactly it did here i changed it let's try to upload an image i'll just go with this image and then i'll just say describe the image press enter or submit scroll down let's see if it is able to do that there you go you see so it, by using the moon dream model it is able to describe the image that in this image a painting captures an african sunset with this silhouetted kangaroos and birds in the center of the scene amazing stuff it's a good good stuff and then at the very bottom you see there is a time prompt tokens well tokens and all that stuff and then you can also delete the model and from here you can select uh, what sort of uh, 
prompt role you want to adopt assistant is the model system is the system or llama in this case for example and user is this one so fairly good you can add various chart chats here instead of markdown you can just go with plain text good stuff and then i believe you can also change the uh, theme here by clicking on this sun icon dark is better anyway so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i really like this follow mac really good stuff i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching